You want me to tell you? Please. Oh. <laughs> this guy has an airborne allergy, straight up, wind. Wind cold. It's going to get allergy stuff. Could just be seasonal. But it won't kill him. <laughs> You want to look for the stuff that will kill you. That's the important stuff to fix. There's a little bit too much acid in his stomach, and he has a little bit of a nervous stomach, meaning that if he gets upset, his stomach gets upset. His entire upper back and neck are inflamed. This is tight. Not good. What you do with that? It's all screwed up here. Ouch. And he has a little bit of phlegm in his lungs, too. He has a little bit of a heart murmur. He has a Michael Dahl murmur, problem from childhood. It's causing an inefficient blood flow through his heart, which is how old are you? 31. 31. You get tired? That's from your heart. He doesn't have a thyroid problem, it's a heart. His heart's he has a beginning stages of what's called cardiomyopathy. The, the, there is a restricted blood flow through the coronary arteries into the heart muscle. The heart muscle is deprived of nutrient. The heart muscle is getting weak. The heart muscle is weak. The ejection fraction starts to drop, and he's tired. This also can make him a little anxious, and it could also make him so sleep too well. He's wound a little tight, this one. And this tight liver is affecting his digestion. His lower back's also tight. Or something. His biggest problem is his heart. That's what has to be fixed. The palpitations. Little I've, funny feelings. Had, yeah. okay, he's going to have heart palpitations. He's going to end up with AFib with this. He's just a little young. He's 31, but as he gets a little bit older, he's starting to have. He's going to have erratic heartbeats. So you really want to help this guy. You got to fix his heart. Fatigue will go away. The anxiety will go away. The insomnia will go away, and the palpitations will. With a little leaky valve, that means not all the nutrients going into the aorta on every beat of his heart. So he has maybe a 1% or 2% reduction of blood flow on every single beat of his heart throughout his entire body. So it's hard for him to recover from injuries and things like that. Yeah. No, not from an ultrasound. You'd have to do an angiogram. He probably has a 30% coronary blockage. He will not fail the treadmill test. He's not going to fail an echocardiogram. The echocardiogram will just tell him what the ejection fraction is. And, pro and, no, <laughs> and the way cardiologists measure the, these ejection fractions, it, a, a normal ejection fraction is anything above 50%. Can you imagine that? A 50% re retention of blood in the left <laughs> ventricle is considered normal. You almost have to be dead to, to fail a cardiovascular test. EKG is completely useless. It'll only tell you if you had a previous heart attack, which he has. He has heart disease in embryo. It's crooked. So you yeah. use herbs for this, right? What's that? You use herbs for this? This you'd use with herbs, yeah. Yeah, and what formula springs to mind? Well, the first thing you have to do, because his other pulses are fairly strong, his liver pulse is pretty strong, so we don't have to give him tonics right now. What you have to do is you have to unplug the blood flow through his heart. For that, we would use several different herbs together. We would use Dan Shen. We'd use Dan Gui Chuan Xiang, those are basal dialectors. We'd use Yu Jin, Mao Dong Qing, and Jue Fu Zhu Yu Tong with a little leech, Shui Zhu. That will open up the blood flow through his heart, take away the fatigue, take away the insomnia, take away the slight tendency to get a little nervous. Why is he nervous? Why does he get anxious? Because the emperor organ is being deprived of if the emperor organ is being deprived of nutrient, the entire kingdom, that's him, is going to be a little uneasy if the heart's under attack, which his is. He already has the palpitations. Preview of coming attractions. And guess what the coming attraction is? A heart attack. He will not get a stroke. There's not enough pressure in the tube for him to stroke out. But he has, is at risk for a heart attack. 
that friendly note. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You got some pain? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Which one, the upper or the lower? Both. His upper is actually worse than his lower. The upper, this upper back and neck are pretty inflamed. Lower back's screwed up too, but this one's not good. So what do you want gone? All of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Australia. Yeah. Adrian has a um, load bike accident. Oh, okay. And he's actually on those beds that you said. He started on those. Oh, you gave them to him? Yeah. yeah. He has to keep taking them. Yeah. Are you feeling better? Uh, noticeably, yeah. Yeah. She gave him my formulas, and he feels noticeably better. You got a ways to go. You can change him out. You know, just, you've got lots of choices. You can use Dongwei Shengma, you can use Dongwei Chuanqiong, Yujin, Lao Dongqing, Jiang Huang. You can use uh, even Wu Danpi, Hu Zhang. Hu Zhang is the basal dilator for the heart, too, and will calm his liver down. Hu Zhang. You said it's dizzy. I love dizziness. Pardon? I love dizziness. His dizziness is caused by the phlegm. He has an allergy problem, and he's got a little bit of phlegm in his eustachian tube that will make him dizzy. So that you use, that's a different formulation. You want to use Baiju, Bansha, Huling, Zixia, and Tian Ma, 20, 20, 20, 20. It will take away the dizziness. This is a perfect case for that formula to work because this is a wind cold allergy, and so the phlegm's gonna be a little loose. This is not, you know, this is not all cake, gooey, phlegm in the head, borderline sinus infection. This is, wind, cold, aggravated allergy, with phlegm being attracted into the eustachian tube. That formula will take away the dizziness. The dizziness is not caused from his heart, it's from the allergies. That's Chinese pulse diagnosis. Very fast. Am I right? Absolutely right. <laughs> I'm right. If they say I don't have it, they're wrong. I'm right. <laughs> it's confident. Very. <laughs> Very. <laughs> I haven't had any of those diagnoses before. So it's starting to <laughs> you won't either. But that's what's wrong. Yeah, the, the dizziness is easy to get rid of. One or two bottles of that stuff and then get back to the heart. But you have to fix the heart. Otherwise, he'll always feel... Just look at me, he's a strong guy, strong physiology. For some reason, that heart, did you do a lot of sports? Previously, yeah. Yeah, that's what did it. He did it to himself. <laughs> Just look at him, he's like a tank. He shouldn't have a heart problem. He's strong genetics. He overdid it in the, you know, bicycling department, running around like a jackrabbit. What? All, all Adrian's um, real problems happen after the accident. Yeah. Like the trauma, like severe trauma. He had the heart problem before the trauma. The trauma just put him over the edge. That's all. So the diagnosis is fibromyalgia. That's a, for, that's a bullshit diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> his fibromyalgia is caused by reduced blood flow throughout the body because his heart's weak. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You feel mostly here or is it to the sides or is it all the way up in the head? Ah, it's all the way up to the head. Is it you feel yeah. now? I do, yeah. yeah. Is it more on the right or the left? Or it it's usually usually the right, right. but right now it's, it's pretty central. Okay. You got your shoes on? Okay, let's go after this levator problem first on the left side, which is what? Small intestine, right? And let's choose, you know, you know what to do on the arms. What, what creates a small intestine? Heart and the small intestine. Do you want to lay, lay them down? Because we haven't seen you treat legs yet. They want to see you treat some legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just put your head over here so you don't fall through. Okay, let's go ahead and hop up the bed. Show me again where you feel the discomfort. Yeah, that's right. Let's let's start with the levator, okay? So the liver takes away small intestine problem. This is the up there, this is where the levator connects to the occiput. Okay? Now we're coming down below the below T1, down the back. Okay, how are we doing now? Yeah. 
Is that better? Yeah. You happy with that? It's much better. How much better from when you came in? You said it's better. Um, 70%. Okay, definitely a little scaffold.